Hey everyone, so today I thought I would do a kind of green smoky eye and I'm wearing these earrings I just got off wrongly in the mail. They have green on them and I would never normally wear like this much jewellery at once but I'm just doing it for the video because I want it to be really OTT. Um, I probably wouldn't wear this out of the house. I probably wouldn't even wear these out of the house but that is just kind of like my inspiration today. I'm just going to pin my hair out of my face so I can put on my foundation and everything without annoying anyone. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to take my MAC strobe cream. My hand is so sore, I was curling my hair and burnt it. Can you see that big... Oh, uh, it's so sore. I'm using a flat top kabuki brush. This one's by XO Beauty. I'm not 100% sure how well this is going to match me, but I'm going to try out the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation, um, and this is in the color Light Medium Sand. Quite a thick, kind of moussey formula. Okay, it's a bit light for me, as you can see, but... We'll fix that with bronzer soon. I'm going to start the process now of bronzing using my Chanel Bronze Soleil Tan de Chanel, whatever, I don't know. I don't really know what it's actually called. It's their like moussey kind of bronzer. Using this Real Techniques black brush, <laughs> I'm going to put this kind of where my cheekbones are, underneath my cheekbones. So you can see how much that just warmed up my face. Um, I really like doing this step when I want a more like dramatically contoured face. Like if I'm doing more of a dramatic look and I want to be really bronzed, I suppose you could say. Now I'm going to use my MAC um, NW20 Pro Long Wear Concealer. I use a couple shades lighter than my skin tone and also the opposite um, undertone just to help counteract those under eye circles because this is a more pinky tone kind of concealer. I really love this. I bought it off Lauren Beauty's recommendation and it is great. At first I didn't really like it and now I love it. I've completely gone off matte foundation now. Like I always have to have like dewy skin. Um, I don't know why I used to be all about that like matte finish and now I just can't. Like I just feel really weird if I wear it matte and I just feel like my skin doesn't look healthy. Okay, so one of the powders I've been obsessed with lately, I bought this off Beauty Bay, Cover FX, their pressed powder. Um, I don't use it heavily, you can use this alone since it's like a full coverage powder, but I just use it really lightly with a kabuki brush. So I just put a little bit on and then I just buff this all over my face just to kind of set my foundation in place so it doesn't move around during the day. I'm sorry if this mirror bit is annoying, I need to get like a proper mirror um, and just I haven't sussed out like where to put my mirror so that it doesn't annoy you guys, I'm sorry. So now I'm taking my e.l.f. brow kit and ash, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. Heaps of people ask me what I use on my brows and it's usually this or ask my brow bar to go. I'll use it on more natural days but if I'm going for a dramatic brow I always use my e.l.f. The new setup I've gotten here is so much better, like I can see myself like to the screen over here, like not like I'm going to stare at myself because that just looks weird, but it's just so I can check that I'm in focus every now and then, um, because otherwise my camera is like 2 meters away from me, and I'll like go to watch back the video, and I'll be like out of focus in parts, and it's really irritating, so like this just prevents that even happening, like I can just every now and then just glance over here and just check that it's filming, and check that it's you know in focus and everything. Um, I will be doing a film setup video real soon on my vlog channel, like about what lens I use, camera, lighting, lighting setup, computer, editing program, like everything that goes into making my videos, I'm going to just cover a little bit because I get so many questions. Okay, so I'm up close and personal so I can actually show you what's happening on my eyes. First of all, I'm going to take this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and this is in the colour Rocky Mountain Green and I'm just going to put this only on my lid.
I'm just going to go in with Soft Brown by MAC just in my crease just to create a bit of a transition colour. Now that's done, I'm just going to take a couple of these shadow guards and I'm just going to put these under my eye just so I can get a really clean edge on the go figure. So I finally sit down to film and my battery goes dead. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do this eye. So if you like the look of that one, stay tuned. So I put down that jumbo eye pencil before. I'm going to take next jumbo eye pencil and milk. I'm just going to put this on the inner corner and on that inner kind of third of the eye. Okay, just to kind of get a colour guide of where I want my eyeshadow to go, I'm just going to put this on this shadow guard thing and kind of like join it up to my eyebrow, to my eye. And it feels really weird, but it helps a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this really scary colour, that neon green from the Acid Palette by Sleek. It's like the brightest, most neon green you would ever see in your life, but obviously we make it wearable. Um... <laughs> It's really scary on the pan though. I've never used this apart from this look. Okay, so I'm just going to pat this kind of from like the center up to the crease. And you want to leave, you know, that first third clear for the white. I'm just going to pop that white down. I'm using the white from the same palette and just putting that um, on the inner corner underneath and on top. Next, I'm taking a pigment. I'm using, what is this, Jealousy by Glamour Doll Eyeshadows. I've had this for the longest time. <laughs> and I'm just going to take that on a little brush. Um, you can use any dark green. What I'm going to do is kind of put it on the outer corner and then bring it up into the crease above that green, the neon green. So you're kind of going like in a C around the other colour. Don't go into your crease though because we don't want a green crease, we want a brown crease. I'm just taking more of that soft brown colour and then just buffing that into the crease again to make it a bit more dark. And then I'm just going to take the colour Mystery by MAC, which is just a dark brown, you can use any dark brown. And I'm just going to put this into the crease as well, just to make that super dark. Okay, so once that's done, take off that thing. We'll have to touch up any makeup that we pulled off. I wasn't really planning on using them. Usually I would use them before doing any concealing or anything like that, but we'll fix that soon. I'm taking a little bit more soft brown and I'm gonna buff that on that harsh line that we just got from that shadow shield thing. And then I'm gonna put that under my eye also. Okay, I'm going to put next Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk along my waterline. And then I'm just going to touch up that concealer underneath. And that is the eyes done. So now you just want to move on to eyeliner, etc. I'm going to be using my, what's this called? Hyperglossy Liquid Eyeliner by Maybelline. Probably my favourite one at the moment. And then I'm going to follow up with CoverGirl Lash Blast. And then I'm going to follow up with false eyelashes. I'm using these Ardell Edgy 406 lashes. And they're just really dense on the outer corners. This is something I always forget to do in my tutorials. And people are like, oh my god. Because <laughs> I like show my makeup and it's got a big white blotch. It's so bad. I'm just so forgetful. Okay, so now that eyes are pretty much done, I'm going to go in with a highlighter kind of powder to go under my eyes just to brighten up that area. I'm using the Guerlain Meteorites powder, pressed powder, and a big fluffy brush, and I'm just going to buff that kind of underneath my eyes, <laughs> clearly. And then I'm going to put it down the center of my nose as a highlight. And also on my cupid's bow or in my mouth as I just did. <laughs> to bronze I'm going to use my mineralized skin finish in dark which is actually a pressed powder but it looks really nice as a contour color. For my blush I'm going to use MAC Dainty Mineralized Skin Finish 
or mineralized blush or whatever they call these. And then Miss Predictable is going to be using the Stila, did I just nick it? No I didn't. Stila Duo Highlighter and Kitten by Stila. Durr. I'm going to use um, MAC Erase Lip Erase. And I'm going to use this lipstick here, um, MAC Longwear Lip Cream in To The Future. And I'm going to follow up with a little bit of NARS Turkish Delight Lip Gloss. And then the last step, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And it's got a kind of dewy finish, so that's what I like. That didn't even hit me. And that is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, you can make it even more wearable if you don't use a neon green, clearly. Um, I just really wanted to challenge myself and see if I could make a neon colour wearable. And I think this is fairly wearable, depending on the person. I would happily wear this out to an event or night time or something like that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful and I will talk to you in my next video in two more days. Bye! Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you a glamorous kind of go-to look you can wear in the night time, especially for summer. It's a really pretty bronzy look. This is a collab with the wonderful Nikki Philippi. She is going to be doing a 